Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing this spidery tutorial. I'm going to work like this. I'm very excited about this. So if you'd like to see how I do this kind of dramatic spidery eye, definitely keep on watching. As you can probably tell, my face is already done, so definitely make sure you check out my color correcting and foundation routine, which I will link down in the down bar to see what I did and how I create my solid foundational base for my makeup. Let's hop right into the fun stuff. I'm diving right in with the Lorac Pro 2 palette to create a nice gray, dark, cool toned, neutral eye, and then I'm going to pop some pretty purple glitter all over the lid, but I want to start with that smoky gray base, so I'm starting with this Lorac palette. The first color I'm taking is this cool gray right here, and I'm going to blend it out and up into my crease to start that nice cool toned smoky eye. Next, I'm going to emphasize my crease even more um, in the outer third of my eye using this dark charcoal color. And I forgot how pigmented these shadows are. I love them. And now with a very small detail brush, I'm going in with black and I'm going to confine that more along my lash line and blend it out really well because I do want it very dark on the outer corner. So just kind of creating that V shape out here with the black and then I'm going to blend it out really, really well. So as you can see, I've got a very nice shape created for the cut crease. I'm not actually going to conceal first, I'm just going to jump right in with the e.l.f. glitter primer because the purple color is very pigmented. This is the L'Oreal Paris 24 hour infallible eyeshadow in the shade Perpetual Purple. So this is what I'm going to be placing all over my lid and I'm going to do one eye at a time to retain the tackiness of the glitter glue. I have washed this brush like three times and it is still red from that lipstick, so guess I'm gonna have a red brush forever. Anyways, jumping right into the glitter glue, I'm just painting this right across my lid as you would with concealer for a faux cut crease, but I'm just doing it with the glue. And now just taking a small fluffy eyeshadow brush, I'm going to gently start placing the purple all across the lid. Okay, so purple is on and what I'm going to do to actually re-emphasize the cut crease is take a little bit more of that charcoal color and just sweep it over the top of where I just put the purple. To highlight under my brows and on the inner corner, I'm going in with this white color snow and just blending that out really well. And for my under eyes, I'm just going to do a nice coat of cool gray all the way across and then do the outer corner with a little charcoal and black. I'm doing my brows real quick with the Benefit Give Me Brow in shade number five. And then I want the purple to be a little bit more bright and purpley, so I'm going in with Purple Horseshoe on a little 
eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to dab that all over where I put that purple and hoping that it will lighten it up just a little bit. That's a little closer to the glowy purple that I wanted from the beginning. So now I'm going to dive in and line my eyes doing a very thick dramatic wing. Actually a very thin but still long and dramatic wing using the Tarte So Fine liner. I actually switched over to using the Kat Von D ink liner in Trooper because the Silk Fine liner is dried out and I'm really sad because I love that liner. And then I purposely did my wing really long so I can start drawing a couple of lines, oh I almost touched my face, down and out from the bottom of my eye and create that spiderweb effect. And I'm going to start going in and making the little humps that kind of connect all of these lines. So I like how this turned out so far and I'm going to clean up any areas that I'm not super fond of with the Maybelline Master Conceal Camouflage and Concealer and a tiny detail brush just to make some of the lines even more crisp. And then I'm setting all of this with my Makeup Forever HD powder and a little fluffy brush. For mascara today, I'm starting out the Tardis Lash Paint. Um, I really like this stuff because it makes my lashes look super long and separates them really well. So I'm going to start out with this and then do a second coat of a different mascara. First coat of mascara is done and now I'm going in with the Dior Dior Show Blackout Mascara to make the lashes look even more voluminous because I'm not wearing falsies today because I don't feel like it. So as I'm looking at this doing my mascara, I feel like this kind of looks a little disjunct. So I'm actually like with the line straight down the middle. Um, so I think I'm going to add another one coming right here, just a little small one and connect it and make it more spidery. I don't know. Hopefully that looks good. If not, it's going to be a sad day for me. Okay, so I definitely already like that a little bit better, so I'm just going to finish off the little loops, or whatever they're called, humps. So this is the spider web that I've finished. I actually really like this, and now I'm just going to breeze through contouring using my NYX Highlighting and Contouring Palette. I'm just doing this real quick to give my face a little bit of dimension since my eye makeup is so First, I'm going to take this lightest color and kind of just brush it all over the hollows of my cheeks and up here. And then with a contour brush and a very light hand, I'm going to take this dark, dark color, which is a very cool toned dark, or pretty cool toned dark. It's one of the cooler tones in this palette, although it looks warm on my skin because I'm so pale, and just use that as my contour shade. I'm not going to be doing any highlighting today, but I am going to pop on some blush. I'm going to be using this dark mauve color from the Pacifica Coconut Blush Duo and just brushing a lot of that kind of on the backs of my cheekbones and not too much on the apples of my cheeks. And then for lipstick, I'm going kind of dark. I'm using Poe. This is one of the Kat Von D studded lipsticks. I really like it. And then just cleaning up around my lips using the Maybelline concealer again because I want them to look nice and crisp and clean and dramatic. So this is the final finished makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I think it is fun and kind of simple so you can wear it like I'm wearing this to work. You can wear it to school and just be a little bit festive without going too crazy. And of course, you can just use a neutral lip. You don't have to use a 
blue purpley glittery lipstick like I did it is totally up to you so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you have liked these Halloween tutorials because I loved doing them for you so again hope you liked them if you did give them a thumbs up Leave a comment below. Check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Ilea, E-Y-E-L-E-A-H. All of my links are going to be in the down bar. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see more of me, right? Who doesn't want that? All right, thank you guys so much again, and I hope you have a wonderful day and a very happy Halloween.